Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? So today we're going to be talking about local small business SEO or search engine optimization. And we're not talking about what you need to do off your site. We're going to concentrate on working on your site. The things you need to do to make it so that your website is searchable and findable on the organic search engine listings. All right? So if that's something you need to know about, stay tuned. Hi, guys. I'm Jay Burnham with The Real Jay Burnham, and I am so happy to be here. Glad to be around. Um, if you guys are not a, a subscriber to this channel, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the red button right here. zippity doo -dah. Click it, and you'll get be, have access to all my videos in the, in the past and in the future. All right. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, guys, don't forget, this is about search engine optimization. And a lot of small businesses, when they are starting out, have no clue about what search engine optimization is, or SEO for short. They have no clue what to do. They put up a website. They go to Wix or some other uh, friggin' cheap uh, as a loser thing to put up a website. And they say, yay, I got a website. Well, the website looks like crap, but besides that, they have done nothing to make it so that the search engines can find you, right? So why do you even have a website if you are not actually being able to be searched on? Not only that, you have an ugly address for your website. You got www.blahblahblahmovers.wix.com. Huh? Well, that just screams, hey, I'm too cheap to go and buy a real friggin' website to uh, make it look like it's a good thing. Just That's just stupid. It's silly, and it, you're costing your business. But let's go over a few things that um, I want to show you. Hey, Marty, look at that. He's in the picture. Let's go over a few things that your website should have. And uh, let me minimize myself and put me off the screen. Boom, there I am, way over there. Okay, I got some notes. So first of all, we want to talk about long content. Um, and this is an article that I have on my website, You Save Moving and Storage. And it's called, How Much Do Movers Cost? How do I know that that's uh, some, How do I know that that's an article to write? Because I go over here and I go to Google and I go, How much do movers do movers cost right boom and i enter it in and i get 135 million results right there see that 135 million results that's 135 million pages have this keyword in one fashion or another see see the dark lines and everything have that keyword um in in it somewhere along the lines um, or so on and so forth. This is and this is also a good thing. You don't know what to what kind of content to put on here. Uh, well, there you go. Here you go. How much do movers cost for a local move? How much do movers cost for a two bedroom apartment? Moving companies price average. How much do movers cost for a one bedroom apartment? There you go. Those are headlines that you could use for an article on your on your website. All right. These are called what's called keywords. Right, and we're going to talk about keywords in a moment. But this, this sentence right here is a keyword. All right, but let's say you're not a mover. All right, not a problem. Um, let's say uh, pet sitters. Let's write in pet sitters. All right, so we know that people are looking for pet sitters in Jackson, Michigan, Lance, Michigan, and pet sitters. All right, excellent. We got pet sitters, and then boom, here comes Lansing pet sitters. Hey, look at that. That's me. Yay! And yes. That is my real cell phone number. Do not call it. All right? You call it, I'm going to cancel it. But, yeah, I'm right there. Look at that. Right in there. boop a -dum. But, anyway, we go down here, and it says searches related to pet sitters. Find a pet sitter. All right? But <laughs> you should have a page called find a pet sitter. Pet sitter's insurance. Have a page called pet sitter's insurance. Or, you know, if you're starting a YouTube video uh, channel. On how to be a pet sitter. Guess what? Dun, da, da, da. Become a pet sitter. Dun, da, da, da. 
Dun, dun. You know, these are all these are all keywords that you could be using. All right. So that's how I knew what this this was going to do. However, we're talking about long content. And then you'll go through this content. This content is broken up in various parts, all using the keywords, right? Hiring Craigslist movers from uh, Craigslist. That was a that was a suggestion by uh, Google. How much does local moving cost? That was a keyword. More movers charges apply. That wasn't, but I did that anyway. How much does it cost to move a one bedroom apartment? So on and so forth. I put out this this article. Is almost 2,000 words long. I think it was like eight, 1,850 words, right? This is a long piece of content. And it, if you Google how much do movers cost, you will find that I rank very high um, for this article. Now, this art, because I do, and I've got all these other keywords in it, my, I, I'm able to uh, get a high ranking with my. The search engines on that and um, you know it brings me a lot of traffic into my website some of it is doesn't apply because some of it's out of state um, you know some of it's not some people I can help at all but it does bring me um, it does bring me uh, content for the local areas now I could say I can I can even change the title of I can say, how much do movers cost in Lansing, Michigan, or in in Mid Michigan, or in the, you know, or, or how do much how much do movers cost around Lansing, Michigan, uh, or near Lansing, Michigan, and that would actually bring me up, and that would make get me to more uh, more targeted um, uh, customers, because now you know when they say. A movers near me is going to have that in the keyword and I'm going to show up um, and this is a big keyword here for movers movers near me I could actually have that in the in the title of it and how much do movers cost near me and boom I'm going to show up I'm actually thinking about maybe I'll do that um, and uh, you know and I'll just make make my keywords not only that I have uh, my keywords available now let's just go to my home page right um, oh yeah that's I know what that is let's go to my home page here you can see my home page I've got my my uh, logo my number all these moving rates moving labor movers near me moving service these are all keywords keywords that people are searching for in uh, in Google uh, the best movers Lansing Michigan is a keyword that people are looking for um, also, I try to make my homepage um, a long form content as well. I'm trying to put a lot of content on my homepage. That's why I've got videos and so on, so forth. Okay, so make your content long, about 2,000 words. Right around there is the ideal scene currently per Google's algorithm. Google changes their algorithm quite frequently, so it might change. It might say 3,000, it might say 5,000, or it might go down to 1,000 here in, in the next couple of days, weeks, or months. Who knows? All right? The next thing we want to talk about is uh, photos. We want to make sure that we have a lot of photos in our, in our website. Like I've got photos here, photos here, photos here, photos here. Also notice that in my metadata, which is this little uh, this little thing right here in the metadata says packing and moving supplies. That's a keyword. So in the metadata on the video, I mean on the on the photo, is my keywords. Also here storage, commercial moving services, residential moving company. These are keyword rich in the metadata, so that these keywords operate. So, and you want to have a lot of photos, right? You want to make it interactive. You want the photos to be able to be clickable. I click that photo, it goes to move re residential moving company. Again, I look at the, you know, and again, the photos will be all metadata um, and so on and so forth, right? So this, this photo, clickable. I click that photo, takes you over the packing and moving supplies. It, it just takes you further and further into the website, all right? 
The next one we want to talk about is videos. All right, videos are very popular. That's why on my, on my website, you got this video right here, which is just an international Contact video. Contact Safe Moving and Storage for your local interstate resident. Right, that's just an introductory video. I could have it play automatically, but that would be annoying for people. So people don't want that to play and thing. And I got this off of Fiverr. I went to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and I just wrote that in. I, I had them doing it. It cost me 75 bucks um, on Fiverr, and she put in the logo, and she put in the You Save Moving and Storage with my phone number on the bottom of that. If this ever changes, I can always do do the do a video on my own, which I'm thinking I might do anyway. But she did a great video, uh, and, and it's only a, about it's only a minute and 32 seconds long, um, but it's a great video, and it gives it gives people who don't want to read, you know, a, a great video for them to watch. Okay, great. But I also got videos down here. These are testimonial videos. These are testimonial videos from my customers. You click it on, and boom, it'll go if it loads. I'm videoing, so it's going to take a little bit to load. But you can go to YouTube and watch it on YouTube. Um, but anyway, there you go. Um, Jay and his helper today helped me move out of my apartment to my new home, and they did an awesome job. I have no problems. I will refer them to all my friends. Thank See? Simple, easy video but it gives me some social proof right here's some more photos by the way that gives me social proof we talked about social proof in another video so videos are very popular you got it you should get a bunch of videos you should have testimonial videos you should have plenty of pictures that represent what you're trying to communicate all right next thing we want to do with the seo on your thing is infographics if you can put an infographic on the home page awesome do that. Oh, let's go back to videos. Now, I did a bunch of videos. Now, guess what? How much do movers cost for a one-bedroom apartment? Remember to talk to you about the keywords? I went to Google, and I figured out what the keyword is. And look at here. In the searching results, how much do movers cost for a two-bedroom apartment? Right? Boom. And that video shows up. It is on the third page, uh, but it is. it does show up. You know? And if I click... Click that on. It'll go to my YouTube. Hello, everyone. I'm Jay Bono with the YouTube. And uh, that's on a different channel, by the way. But, you know, and if we go to my channel, you know, go over to here to my channel, you can see my, my, my page for my channel on my YouTube. Okay, so this is just for my thing. But all this will send people to, um, will send them to, my website, you can see here, you say moving to storage, over 2,000 moves completed. Since 2008, we have successfully moved thousands of people like yourself, near or far, no matter the size. Affordable, licensed, insured, stress-free. Here's a, here's a link to my website, or you can go to Gmail. You can go to my Google Plus or my uh, Facebook, right? So videos are very popular for SEL purposes. Now we're talking about infographics. And this is um, one uh, an article on my website. I wrote a little bit of an introductory, and I got this from uh, Moving Reviews uh, Data Report uh, for 2016, and I put this on my website. And this now this is going to help. This it, this infographic is actually going to help Moving Reviews because you got to. I could take this this part of it out, um, but. It also helps me. I can actually create an infographic or have one created like this for my website, and I can send it to all the news outlets or media outlets and have it shared. Um, these are very shareable. People like, <clears throat> excuse me, like to uh, share these a lot. And um, you know, you can have uh, one of these made up for yourself. Like, what is the top cities in Michigan that you move to? What are the top? What are the top cities people are moving to? What are the top cities people are moving from? Um, you know, how many people moved into Lansing? How many people moved out of Lansing? Uh, so on and so forth. These are. This would be a great little infographic, or you could do an infographic on 
how to pack a box, so, you know, and you can have these little different ones. And just have infographics and share those with the news media is a great way to get the news media to backlink to you, which we're going to talk about. Another thing on photos, I love what this guy does. Louis Massaro, um, he's trying to sell his uh, ebook, you know, Rules of a Profitable Moving Company. I've talked, to, I talked about him before, done a review. Um, I'm not really advocating, but he does some, he does some really cool marketing things. He goes and has, look at this, just a simple square, two-colored, do you need a sales script, and he, uh, from his blog, you know, and he uses it on his blog. You go to his website, and if it ever loads, and you can see he's got, he's got videos um, on his blog. Come on, there you go. Um, and then he's got all these little memes uh, that he makes up for his, uh, for each of these articles and videos that he does. Brilliant, brilliant marketing. But this adds to his SEO flavor. The guy's doing a great job when it comes to SEO. So you guys can do that. And it's real easy. You can go to a, a website called Canva, Canva, which is free. And you can just sign up. You can or sign up with your email, sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook. It's totally free. You don't have to worry about it. It's a great sub. Another one is Pig Monkey, right? PigMonkey.com. Uh, they'll do the same thing, um, which is, and you could do little videos and, and stuff. Uh, I mean, little pictures and so on and so forth. Um, and then there's um, Uzine, which I like. I use a lot. Um, it's got a lot more things. But this one is a paid service. Um, so this is a paid service. Oh, no, that's wrong. You designed. There we go. Oh, let's go. I went to the wrong one. I, you designed. There we go. Um, we don't want to see the video, but this is you designed. Uh, this is this is a paid service, but you can do all sorts of, um, you know, it's only $120 a year, um, and and then you could and it compares your, compares it to Photoshop, um, but this is great for someone who doesn't know a lot about um, doing anything. So you can make you can make all this stuff up because they got templates. So don't don't be scared. But I like how Lewis does this. He really does a really good job. Um, having a sales script increases sales, period. Boom, at Louis Massaro. Really? It's, he puts this picture up on his website. Good, at Louis Massaro. You know that's he's talking about Twitter, right? He sends it out on sends it out in Instagram. He sends it on Facebook. He sends it, people to Twitter. Twitter then sends it to, uh, to his website and so on and so forth. But using, you know, using photos, videos, and based off of keywords is intelligent it's it's what it'll get people to come to your website so use photos good now we're going to talk a little bit about backlinking right we talked about what keywords are we're now going to talk about backlinks okay now this is from moversville and it's about me how to find hot movie lids sorry um how to find hot movie leads on zillow jay burnham he gives a little a uh, little synopsis of me, which I he wrote really well on this. Um, and then he has one of my videos to the Hot Movie Lens, which I did a video on Zillow. And he puts it. But right here is what I'm talking about. He uses this. You save moving to storage in Lansing, Michigan. Not only did he use my the, the company name, but he also put Lansing, Michigan in it. That will help me locally rank higher. The guy really knows well. He also put it over here in Lansing, Michigan. And I really appreciate him doing that because now this is a backlink. Every time I get a backlink from another company, especially if it relates to the moving industry, it could be like a mortgage broker, it could be real estate agents, um, move, other moving blogs like this. I, if they put my stuff on and give me a link like this, like this guy did, th this will help my um 
my backlinks. And you can get backlinks a lot of places. One reason why I do have a YouTube channel for about moving tips is it gives me a backlink. One reason why I have a Facebook page is it gives me a backlink. One reason why I have Twitter, it gives me a backlink. Reason why I have Google Plus, it gives me a backlink. And these are all high quality um, videos. If I put something on Amazon S3 and have a link, a backlink to my website, now I've got a backlink from Amazon, which is like, uh, you know, a 10, Alexa, uh, it's like a 10 rank uh, site, high ranking site. You know, you get, get a very powerful backlink from Amazon. If I were an eBay seller, I would put a link um, to from eBay to my website. You see where I'm going with this? All right. So this will give me uh, rankings. It basically, the more of these backlinks I get, the higher my ranking will go on the search engines. But it also, what it does is it makes the search engines like Google think that I'm popular. And then it goes, oh, this guy's popular. Let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's do, uh, you know, uh, put them up higher uh, for the particular keyword. All right. So these are the things you want on your website. All right. Find out and how you basically find out, you know, hire an SEO. If you can't afford it, if you don't have the time or the knowledge to do SEO, it's well worth the return on investment the ROI, the return on investment, to hire somebody to do it for you professionally. Do it professionally for you, right? Um, I can't really recommend it more. Um, these guys, the Moversville, great guys. They will probably help you out with your search engine optimization. I know that they'll help you in automating your email because if you go to, that's what their whole purpose of this site is to engage, maintain, and grow. And then basically, that's what their whole service is about, is helping you grow, especially through email services. Um, but this is some of the things they do. Email creation execute, re responsive email design, detailed reports. But I guarantee if you probably ask, hey, do you do SEO? You might say yes. But go to a professional SEO company and spend the money. Yes, it probably sounds like a lot, but a good SEO company will – bring in a tremendous amount of return on investment you for every i say if you spend a thousand dollars a month i'm sure that they'll bring you ten or twenty thousand dollars for it so go and make sure that you're doing your seo can't do it yourself then hire somebody to do it all right guys that's all i have for you today wanted to really talk to you it's just basic a little basic tutorial on what you should have on your website so that you rank higher i can't really explain it more or or you know tell you how important SEO is to your company's future all right so hopefully you've learned a little bit of something if you like the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe well subscribe right there the little button below make sure you yeah uh, share, share this with all your family and friends and don't forget have a great day all right guys bye bye